back on AUT, bro. We finally got the C Moon stand. I'm not gonna lie. Yo, this stand is actually pretty cool, bro. I like the movesets, but I haven't tested this out on PvP, so I won't say this is a good PvP stand. But it's pretty clean and it's really easy to get. But first, before we get into the showcase, I have to explain how to get it. So if you're just looking for like the moves, then look at the timestamp below. Alright, so in order to get this stand, you need to get an arrow. Obviously, you need to get the stand uh, white snake. And if you don't know how to get an arrow, um, you can get it from a chest that's spawned like around the map. Or you can get, a, get it from a meteorite that's like all the way up here where Gojo is. Like, so this is a meteorite, gives you arrows. So as you can see, look at all these meteorites, right? You get all you get arrows from them, right? So boom, that's how you get the uh, arrow. So once you get white snake, and if you don't know what white snake looks like, um, I put it on the I put it on the screen because I don't have an extra white snake on me right now. So once you get the stand white snake, you're gonna go to this uh, NPC right here, and this person is gonna give you the quest. Make sure you do not click on reset stand, bro. You do not want to do that. You're gonna go to the bottom one where it says the way to heaven. You'll need the white snake or sea moon or the world to do this. Right, so once you get the quest, which I don't have right now because I already did this, you go to your menu and basically gonna give you like three uh uh quests to do in order to you know get C Moon. You have to kill Dio once, you gotta get Dio's bone, and you have to kill 36 sinners, which is players, so you gotta kill 36 players. You can get, probably get an all or you can just ask a friend to help help you do this. It's, it's not that hard, honestly. So boom. Once you get this quest, you wanna go to the forest because this is where Dio spawns. I was actually uh messing around with him he spawns deep in the forest like probably this tree uh right there but he's right there so he's i don't know what time he spawns but he just i guess he just spawns right so you just gotta wait for him right you can do this by yourself or you can get a, a group of friends to fight him but i'm not even trying to fight him dog oh my god all right bro we had to escape from dio man this man just kept following me across the map bro but anyway once you kill dio he's gonna drop uh something called dio's bone which is this right here Make sure you feed this to the white snake stand. Don't mess up, bro. Feed it to the the right stand, which is white snake, right? Now you have two quests complete, which is kill Dio and feed your white snake the Dio's bone. Now the last thing to, for in order to complete the quest is kill 36 players. You can either do this by killing uh random people in the game, which probably will take the longest, or you can just kill an all or kill your friend. That's what I would do. Uh, that's what I would recommend so you can get this uh stand really quick. So boom, once you do all three of those things, you're going to get Sea Moon. You're gonna spawn in, uh, you're gonna reset and spawn in with this Sea Moon, just like this. So let's get into the showcase real quick. So let's test this out on the dummy. We're gonna test out the um, abilities without the stand. So we're gonna do our first move, which is uh, E. Which does 60 damage, pretty nice, pretty nice. So we're gonna do our second move, which is our R. And as you can see, it does damage once he comes back up. And then we're going to do our team move, which is our gun right here. Let's see how far I can do it. Pretty nice. That does uh, some good damage, especially from uh, long range. So we have our last ability, which is our Y move. Nice, nice. Okay. I didn't even see that right there. I didn't even notice that. It does damage once he gets back up. So there's no uh, G move or H move. Just making sure. So that's pretty much it for the stand. With uh, the moves for, without the stand, I should say. Now we're going to pull out our stand. By the way, there's no M1 combat when you have no stand on. So just making that clear. So this is what the M1 combat looks like with the stand. Nice, nice. We're going to try our, we're going to use our first move, which is the barrage move. I, li I like that, bro. I like it. I like the barrage move for this character. So now we have our, uh, so there's no R move, by the way. There's no R. There's no R move, as you can see. Uh, then we're going to use our T move. Now with this move, I don't know if you noticed that it actually does two hits. So as you can see, the first hit, if you get close to him, it does something. But let's just say you weren't close to them. They were far away. You can actually use this as a long range move. So we're going to let this uh, come back real quick. So we're going to do this. And as you can see, the, uh, there's like a projectile rocks that come toward the enemy. So it only does 32 damage. Just letting you know if you decide to do that right there. So we're going to do our Y move right here. Oh, there's no Y move. Okay, okay. So we're going to do our G move. Which is that? Did I just kill him? I did kill him. Hold on. We got to try that again. We got to try that again. Let's do our H move while we're waiting for uh, the G move to come back. This is ow, This is a counter, bro. This is a counter. So let's do our G move real quick. Okay, so it does bleed damage and it does uh, more damage after that. Okay, nice, nice, nice. So we're gonna do, you're gonna use our counter move on, where's that dummy at, bro, right here? 
Hold up, hold up. Let's see what it does, how much damage it does. Good close to this dude. Bruh, my counter is not even done. All right. There we go. That's 40 damage. Nice, nice, nice. And it knocks him back. So that's pretty much it for the showcase. There's no J, there's no K, no N, M, or B. He's making sure nothing like that. So that's pretty much it for the C Moon. Other than that, bro, I think it's pretty clean, bro. I think it's an easy stand to get. I think it's worth having in your inventory. Um, I, I like how it looked, bro. Like it looks clean, bro. And I, you know, and for all the people who are getting excited for Stone Ocean, bro, I, you know, I might I, I recommend it, you know what I'm saying? But that's pretty much it for the uh stand, I guess. Yeah. Uh is it the best stand on the game? I'm not too sure. I'm trying to go for a Gojo, so because I know Gojo looks pretty clean. So I'll see y'all in the next video, bro. Let, let me know what you think of the sea moon is it a good stand is it bad do you, would you get it or do you recommend it anyway i'll see y'all in the next video peace bro this man is actually following me bro why is he following me oh my bro